in the second half. How do you feel about the way you guys responded? In the game? Yeah, pretty. I mean, good. I thought that we you know we um, we made a run and got it down. We got an offensive rebound, kicked it out, made a shot. Um, we got a couple of runouts, had some really nice ball movement where the ball spun around. You know, just kept, kind of kept playing. Um, we, um, they, you know, they were scoring, we were scoring in the third quarter, and uh, you know, we were having a hard time stopping them. But they were having, having a hard time stopping us. I and mean, you got a lead if you, you know, you keep scoring the ball and you got a lead. Usually, you know, you'll be okay. Chris, what was the significance of having a similar situation in the first half, like a seven-point half, and then seeing the team respond against? Yeah, like I said, we just kept playing. I mean, you know, we, we um, moved the ball pretty much for the most part well, um, went in, and, um, you know, got offensive rebounds. We ended up with 17 offensive rebounds, which helped us a great deal. Um, they ended up with 14, which was a problem in the first half. They were getting a lot of offensive rebounds. And just kept playing. I mean, you know, it, it's... I mean, you know, everybody thinks that there's some miraculous big secret and they had 19 points and oh my goodness, well the ball didn't go in. We missed layups and stuff. We just kept playing, pushing the ball. I thought Packers gave us a huge lift. I just thought his defense was, you know, was tremendous. I thought we did a nice job on Aldridge even though he ended up with 27 and 20. He ended up with 26 shots to get those and so we did a nice job there. Uh, Lillard was 7 for 17. You can live with that. And I thought Chandler had, you know, Chandler was attacking and we had a really good ball movement. We played out the catch early. And, you know, all the teams that get in and sag in the paint and it's all the closeouts, we attacked the closeouts off, off of the catch, didn't hold the ball. We just kept playing it. I mean, you know, we just played, played well. It was, it was a good win for us. And, you know, we were, we were light on bodies, boy. You were looking down the bench there. And there weren't a whole lot of guys, uh, a whole lot of guys, a lot of guys available, especially anybody with any size. You, you mentioned Beverly. Um, just Talk in particular what he brought to the table tonight, especially against a guy like Lillard. Well, you know, Patrick just brings a little bit of a swagger. I mean, he just kind of gets out there and he says, you know, if you beat him, he says, good for you. <laughs> Try it again. Some of our guys, he gets scored on and it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like, you know, he hikes up his shorts and keeps playing. I mean, it's just, there's no drama. He just plays hard and the guys like him and he just moves the ball. He, he has no agenda when he plays besides play hard. And sometimes when you have the simplest agenda is I'm going to play really hard, that's when you play really well. When you're thinking, I got to do this, I got to do that, I got to get as many shots and all that stuff, sometimes it gets too much for you. How difficult were those stretches, I guess, when the got in foul trouble, you had to be really small. How did you guys hang on there? Well, Chandler had 10 rebounds, so that really helped. You know? And I thought Demo had a nice game for us. You know, he, had, he had ended up with six fouls in 22 minutes. But... I thought Dean Wayne you know, did a nice job, and Omri came in at eight rebounds, which was big. I mean, our, my biggest fear when we went small was that we just weren't going to be able to rebound the ball. And uh, we ended up doing a, you know, a good job of rebounding the ball. And I thought, I thought Dean played well. You know, I, I hopefully Terrence will be back and um, uh, you know, give us a little more depth at that spot. But I thought, I thought that Dean you know, played well, and I thought that Omri played, played well, too. You know, they, they kind of moved the ball. And Demo's one of those guys that you're going to have energy when Demo plays, and Demo and Pat do give us this a lot of energy and you know, sometimes we need that. You talk about just keep playing, but it, the importance of even when you have a big lead and it looks like everything is going in, to not try to make everything go in by taking wild and crazy shots, you guys keep running your offense. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you can't. There are times when the flow of the game kind of dictates a lot of stuff. and. And there, there are times I tell our guys, there are times you just got to, you know, you got you to just hit the ball on the right side of the infield and advance the runner. You don't have to go for a home run every time. And, but we have a lot of home run players, and I hear you screaming at them. And, I, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of home run hitters, they swing hard, I tell them. You know, and and it, you, you fight that because the, the, the group is made up of a lot of guys who feel they're home run hitters. And every time you tell them to play conservative and just lay it off to the right side, they look at you like you're crazy. I mean, they shake off the signal a lot of times. And so, you know, we just got to keep playing. And I think the guys tonight were saying, keep pushing and keep, you know, hitting the open man. They, 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 they understand. They just have got to do it when he gets, when he gets, when he gets tight. And, um, you know, tonight they got it, I think, within six. And then, you know, said, hey, they made their run. Now we make our run. And we made another run. It was up to 12. And then, uh, you know, we, we challenged them to start the uh, fourth quarter of just, you know, win the first three minutes, you know, just win to the nine-minute timeout. If you win that, 
Now you have a nine minute game and, and you're up 14 or more. Then the next three minutes, just keep on playing little games with them and we were able to win the first six minutes of the, um, of the fourth quarter and that usually, that's it. That's a six minute mark, you have a 15, 18 point lead and now you guys just kind of walk it in. Yeah, there was one play that pretty much inconsequential but you guys had a big lead, ball, Patrick misses it, retrieves it, kicks it out to Dwight. He's got to look at a three and really wants to take it. He's having fun, but it would just been a bad shot. He gives it to James. He hits the three. Yeah. If, if you take that bad shot, that six-point lead later on might have been three. And yeah, I know. I mean, you know, hey. <laughs> there are times you got to know your limitations. <laughs> As Clint Eastwood famously said on that, I'm going to get that lucky. <laughs>